a little worried about technology. What will it do to us and where will it take us? Do you have any views on this or thoughts? How should we, how should we uh, approach it now? It's coming in everywhere. For each human being has a choice to be either a slave of technology or to be free and wild. It is a choice and both have their pros and their cons. Also with the advent of artificial intelligence or with brain machine interfaces with the human beings choice to insert computers into their bodies to increase their access to information these choices remain largely still in the hands of the individual and will also for a far future to come. So each human being has to decide, do I want to be free and wild or do I want to be a slave of, an, of a computer? It's a choice. And both have their pros and cons. But if a human being trains themselves to identify the loud noise of the ego and to circumvent it and move into the truth impulse and acting from the truth impulse in all moments, no advance of science or so-called advance of science can interfere with the freedom and wildness of that human being. So the choice is between ego and truth, actually. The more you give in to the ego, the more you will become a victim of technology. The more you flow with the truth, the more you will be free and wild. So that is the choice that is there. And there will be those who choose the path of the ego and there will be more suffering. The idea that by inserting a brain machine interface that connects with the neurons and transmits information to them, unless entirely necessary for that human being to function, is a challenge to that human being's freedom. There are pros for people with neurological disorders, with inability to move, with paralyzed systems. All of those things can be helped, but it has to be undertaken by each human being because the governments are not going to protect you. They're not going to protect your freedom and your wildness. They don't want you to be free and wild. They can't control you if you're free and wild. But you can be free and wild if you become an instrument of the truth because then you are protected by a power far greater than any government somewhere. And you will always be, you will always be guided in such a way that you will never become a prisoner. You will never become a slave. So that is the way forward. And there are those who happily want to be slaves and that is their right. It is a choice. And some want to have the shackles only on one foot, not on both. That is also a possibility. Where you hobble along through life shackled on one foot. It's a choice. It's in your hands. And 
If anyone tells you that it's not in your hands, that when artificial intelligence takes over, it'll take over everyone and everything, they're wrong about this. It's not going to be like that. That is only a way to, to frighten and subdue people into bending down to the ego and its machinations and to becoming slaves willingly. So you don't have to give in to that. 